What is up guys, Silasev.com here. <clears throat> Today I will be showing how you install custom jobs on your Dark RP server using the Dark RP modification add-on. Um, first thing you want to do is download the zip file of the actual add-on and place it in your add-ons folder. If you're using my own personal host, you can click on the mod manager, scroll down to GitHub, and there should be a darker RP modification add-on. You just click the install button and that will download the latest version of GitHub and install it directly onto your server. Now you just wanna once you have it unzipped and ready to go, you just want to open up the actual files, go to Lua, Darker RP Custom Things, right click on jobs.lua, view and edit. Now what we have here is <coughs> it's just an empty jobs file. The only thing that is actually taken into place is these settings down here. And in between these uh, these lines, we will add in our new jobs. Now, as you can see, there's a link here where we can find the default jobs. We're just going to open that up. And what we will be using this for is a simple template. I'm just going to use the team police as I will be making a SWAT job in this case. Now, always the first thing you want to do is change the team to something else, as if you have two, uh, two of the same thing, it's uh, going to error out, and that is not good. This one is the actual job title in game. I'm just going to make name that SWAT. Now, the color is the color in your, um, your scoreboard, so this one is red. I'm just going to make it a little bit more red. Make it 200. Now, the model. As you can see right here, there's actual two models. Um, if you want to set only one, you just remove the one after the comma. And I only want there to be one SWAT model. Um, I found a list of models in on Pastebin here. And that is some of the, the defaults. Just to get rid of these. That's some of the default models that is um, is in Gary's Ma, and I just want to use the Barney as he looks kind of like SWAT. If you have um, Counter Strike Source content installed on your server, you just use um, some of them. But in this case, I think that Barney is all right. Now this right here is the description, the job description. I'm just going to name this Protect and Serve. Of course, you can type whatever you want. Down here under weapons is what the weapons that the person having the job spawns with. In this case, he has the rest stick, unrest stick, uh, a Glock 2, stun stick, door ram, and weapon checker. Now, if you have any other weapons, uh, like an MP5, you can just add that by adding another one, MP5. And that's going to have, um, have him spawn with an MP5. Now the command is the chat command. You know how in game you can use the forward slash and then some kind of job and you become that job. That's pretty much what this is. The max is the maximum amount of people who can become this job. I think four is alright for a SWAT. The salary, now the normal salary I think is um, 60 or something. And in this case they want to have the 60 times um, 0.45, meaning that almost 50% extra is put into the salary. So since SWAT is a little bit more dangerous uh, job, I'm just going to add in 80 instead of 45. If you have a specific number, you can just simply mark this, remove um, all of it, and just type in something like, I don't know, 120 maybe. maybe. Mm -hmm, that's basically the same thing. Admin equals zero. This means that the job is admin only. Um, in this case, I do want everyone to be able to use it. Vote. This can be true or false, meaning that either it creates a vote or it doesn't. Uh, the has license means that does this job has a weapon license. Um, and of course, it's a police job, so of course it does. Down here, civil protection. There is, you need to add in every civil protection job you make. And this will make them capable of doing stuff like warrants, um, arrest people, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to set this true. And that is pretty much it. Uh, click the save button. Exit out of that. 
and it's going to ask you to upload the changed file and of course you want to do that in some cases you do have to restart your server but most of the times it's just going to refresh by itself and have the new job taken into play right away um, but if it doesn't work right away just restart your server uh, if you have any problems you can just contact me um, so let's have taken out